Hello. Ha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. I just got back from Vegas. Ooh, and then we got a puppy with me. So, first time to the channel. Lots of our videos are beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. Some of them are uncut. And in this uncut, I just got back from Vegas late last night, my uncle's uh, service, and I was not planning on doing a video for Saturday this week. I was just gonna kinda make a community post, take Saturday off, but I decided instead, hey, I'm up early. I'll probably take a nap today because of that, but this dog. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks, that was my book. I didn't need that for the video or anything like that. You just, uh, you just hang out up here on the table and make yourself a home, okay? <laughs> Oh, we haven't done an uncut in a while, and it's not that hard to just pick up the camera and do one, so I figured I would put up a video on Saturday. If you're watching this video on Saturday, this is when I'm recording it, too. Uh, real quick, the nice thing about uncut, don't really need to edit it. So, um, I want to talk about a couple things. First of all, it is a dog, and it's a dog life. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, butt in the face, real great. This is totally how I was planning for this video to go. It, it seems to be kind of raining outside, so I think I'm going to pair some snakes up and I'll take you guys along for the... Goodness gracious, my guy. Come here. Ugh. So I, I think... Not I think. I'm going to take you guys along for my pairing ride. And you can see some of the ball python pairings that we're doing here. Since the precipitation does seem to be coming down out of the sky. Um, we will take you on being much more organized this year with our pairings. Uh, last year was a fun adventure and just kind of seeing what would happen and just taking as, as you guys who followed last year's season, I guess it was this year's season technically, uh, you would have noticed my struggles in trying to figure out who was mom and who was dad sometimes just based on the fact that I just for fun decided to go completely unorganized. This season, I've decided to take it into a extremely organized level where I've got a I've got a whole chart listed out, keeping track of every single pairing, uh, maybe every single lock, every single confirmed lock, and I'm gonna continue this throughout the course of getting eggs and just take all of the guesswork out. And I think that'll be even more fun than <laughs> dog. <laughs> and the other thing I want to talk to you guys guys about is my recent journey. In spirituality, I've always been, always been a very spiritual person, whether that means like hiking to the top of a mountain or just communing with God in some way on an almost daily basis, losing touch with it, getting back with it, getting stronger with it. And recently, uh, September 29th to be exact, I found Jesus, so to speak. Um, and it's been incredible. I, I've always... I've always wanted to be a tool for love and light, and part of that is, you know, like I've say, been saying for years on this channel, take care of yourself, take care of each other. It's just another step in doing that for me, but it's been huge, like it's been huge. I'm reading this book right now, the dog knocked off the table. <sighs> I've been reading lots of books, this one most recently. And I uh, just started it while we were in Vegas for my uncle's thing. And incredible. And just, I've had so many interesting feelings along the way. There's been great moments of peace, great moments of self-doubt just recently. I, I don't, like, I've, I've been feeling very lost in moments. Like, don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. And just feeling confused. And I was always felt misconstrued with information about what is actually happening and what and and you know people are so confusing sometimes and but more recently I've been finding okay so the night before last I had the most intimate conversation and it was short with God than I think I've, I've ever had or at least that I've had in a very long time and it was very clear it, and I just I just wanted to share it with you guys because I basically share everything here on this channel, and as of late, I've been a little less sherry, I guess. I haven't really been sharing 
too deeply as I as I have in the past. And all, all I can say is I encourage all of you guys to just whatever it is that you are seeking, just go ahead and reach out and find it. Because I'll tell you, it's been it's been incredible. I think the reason I haven't been as as open here on these videos is because I've been really focusing more locally and, and being and building relationships with people that are that are close to me in physical reality, whether it's my kids, my wife, my family, my parents, my sisters, uh, or the people here in my local community, which I've been doing a lot recently, Bible study and church, uh, a couple different church groups, and it's just been probably the, it's just, it's just so good. It's been so good. So many connections I've been building with people that are just, that just these real connections. What I've always wanted to do is find God and other people and recognize God and other people. And this just been, this, this journey I've been on the last couple of months has just been helping with that immensely. Like I could not even, and, and one thing I wanted to make sure I didn't do was get like super preachy on this channel. I, I was never, I don't, cause I never like that. I don't like preachy. I don't even like the word. It sounds weird. All I want to, I want to do is spread love and do that as well as possible as I can. And this latest journey, the last couple of months with uh, finding God through Jesus and and just all the, the readings and the teachings and the learning. I've learned so much in the last two months. I think that's part of it. It's, it's so overwhelming how much spiritual knowledge has come into my brain and soul in the last couple of months that it's just been a bit overwhelming. And I'm still kind of reeling and processing like what it is that I'm actually that I'm that I'm opening myself up to and that is being opened up to me through and as I look back on my life, it's been person after person, situation after situation has been placed to where I've been heading towards this. Because I know a lot of people find find what I've found in very stressful moments or, or times of like dire, dire need, which I wasn't necessarily having at the moment. At least not that I could tell. You know, I've, I've been to prison. I've been addicted to drugs. I've been in all these like, like hectic, dark places where you really feel like the light is where you're like, I need the light now because I'm drowning in darkness. And in those moments, it didn't happen there for some reason. I just kind of wallowed and <laughs> gradually got myself out of those situations on my own or feeling like I was on my own uh, as much support as I did have. And another thing I've learned is how many people have been praying for me for I don't know how long, whether it's my grandma, whether it's my, all my good friends that I've known through the reptile community. Uh, mind opening, eye opening. My dog is a little sad that I'm not paying any attention. Are you okay down there, Hilo? <laughs> he's good. He he wants to go out. I don't think he likes the smell of the snake room. He's he's like that. Per last week's, I, I hope I hope that wasn't too much for you guys. It wasn't too much for me. Per last week's, per this week's live stream, we we're trying to guess what the first ball python was that I got. And funny enough, he's going to be the first ball python that we pair this morning. So I got 3% left on this camera. I guess we're just going to go until the battery dies. Come on, Carl. Woo! That's Carl. Hypo, or as people know it, ghost pinstripe. Got him at the East Bay Vivarium. Wanted to name him Carl. And everybody was like, nope. <laughs> Everyone in the family was like, Carl, are you, are you out of your mind? Or like, do you know me? Um, but yeah, I deferred to the family uh, and called him Carl. So for everybody that was trying to guess on the live stream, it, nobody did except for Kenny when he admittedly cheated. Thanks, Kenny, for your honesty. Uh, that's Carl. That's Carl, the very first ball python here at Triple B. And he is going to be going with... Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, ba. Uh, Bimbo, who has had several locks with Carl already at this point, but Bimbo is ooh, freshly shed out and very dark. Let's see if we can get some more light on this situation. Oh, we need to get brighter! Carl, help! Help! It's dark. We need more light. We need more light. We can turn up the ISO on this bad boy. Turn up to 3200. That seems nice and bright. 3200. We've seen some snake tubs here. Bimbo. Bimbo. Uh, bim, 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 bimbo. The clown. Hello, Bimbo the clown with your fresh shed. Don't bite Carl. Carl's coming in. He's not food. Carl, because she's huge. 
and Carl is not as huge. So we're looking to make some double hit hypo clowns with some pinstripe involved there. That's what's happening with that pairing. And then next on our list, we got Ricky, who is my pastel and she clown boy who has produced a whole ton of clutches over here at Shrivel B. Hopefully he's not going into shed because that's not usually how I like to pair snakes. Nope, not going into shed at all. Or maybe a little bit. How's it going down here, Ricky? Pastel Enchi Clown again. Sired many clutches here at Triple B. And today, he's going with a girl that I got from Mike Wilbanks. And that girl is named Venus. She is a scaleless head pastel clown. And I'm just gonna. Woo, that, that's a fun shot. Anyway, there she is. Venus, the pastel, scaleless head clown. So we're looking for some killer clowns, some killer inchy clowns that are scaleless head. And that should be fun. Get it. You go get it there, Ricky. Do me proud. And they've had a couple of locks confirmed this season already. Get down my little pad here. Ba-dink, ba-dink, ba-dink. Maybe we get another one in there. Oh, that's too bright next to the light now. It's a problem with, uh, you know, doing things and stuff. Sometimes it's too... Oh, and the light just turned off on its own? What is going on around here? Why? Oh, I turned it up to 100%. That was a mistake. Okay. Okay, let's just go with the pairings. I just don't want it to be too dark for you guys. You know what I mean? That Too bright, I guess, isn't too big of a problem. We're trying to find the light anyway, right? I right, spread the light. Light! Next, the king, who is a coral glow, pied, and he is going to go see one of his old school girlfriends, who is Maya. Did I mention that I was in Vegas last night, and now I'm back home? Yeah, so my brain is still not all the way awake, being that it's still not even light outside yet. Maya, the coral glow, with... The King, the Corgo Pied. So, as again, if you've been following along, you've seen this pairing before, we've done this pairing before. And you get some Coral Glow 100% Het, Super Coral Glow 100% Het Pies out of that pairing. Next along the line is Oedipus. And Oedipus is another Coral Glow Pied. But the thing about Oedipus is he is 100% Het Clown. So... Oedipus, the 100% Het Clown Coral Glow Piebald, is going to be going today with Cindy. Cindy, one of the first snakes we produce here at Triple B. This will be her third clutch if this goes off without a hitch. And she's looking absolutely fantastic and ginormous. And I've been palpating her. Not really any follicles yet, even as huge as she is. At least not that I can feel, probably because of how enormous she is. But... Uh, she should be giving us some Coral Glow, Enchi, Firefly, 100% Head Clown, 100% Head Pies. Doesn't that sound like fun? Oh no, no, a Visual Clown. Visual Clown, 100% Head Pies. Yeah, that's a good sound. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, folks. Bullwinkle is going to Violet for the first time ever. Bullwinkle being our super pastel lesser. And Bullwinkle is a gorgeous, gorgeous example of a ball python. Super coral glow pastel lesser. Well, no, sorry, no coral glow. I add that in when I didn't mean to. Super pastel lesser. And a beautiful, beautiful example of one at that. Look at that guy. He is just a shiny example of ball python beauty. Do, 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 do. And he's going again with Violet, who is a Purple Passion, which is a Phantom Mojave. So this is going to be the first time that we ever have a chance of producing fully blue-eyed leukistic animals. Because Lesser and Phantom is a blue-eyed leukistic, and Lesser and Mojave is possibly the whitest blue-eyed leukistic thing out there in the planet. 
you don't like the way I say leukistic, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, I'm just going to say goodbye. We have a few more pairings on here. We've got actually a handful of pairings here. This camera is going to die any second, so I just want to wish you guys a uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas coming up. <laughs> don't bark at the Burmese python, you dog. Oh. And also, um, I mean, we'll see you this Wednesday for the live stream instead of Tuesday because we're having Mr. Vin Russo on our Zoom call, our Patreon Zoom call on Wednesday. <laughs>